Welcome back to Story Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie, Con Air, released in the year 1997. At the beginning of the movie we see an army soldier, Cameron Poe, who comes back to his home to spend his holidays. After coming home, he first meets his wife whose name is Trisha. Here Trisha tells Cameron a good news and says, that she is pregnant, Cameron is very happy to hear this, and both of them start dancing together, when some drunken man comes here, who starts teasing Trisha. Seeing this, Cameron gets very angry, he was going to fight with them, but Trisha stops him. Both ignore those drunk men and start going back home, but on the way, again the same drunk man comes with his friends to fight Cameron. Cameron fights with them, and while fighting he accidentally kills a man here. After this, Cameron is brought to the court the next day, he killed a man, so the judge sentenced him to 10 years in prison, Trisha always sends a letter to Cameron in prison, Cameron was in prison, so he could not see his daughter growing up, when his daughter grows up, she also writes a letter to her father, which he every time used to reply. Now 8 years pass by slowly, Cameron was being released prematurely, because of his good behavior in prison. Cameron befriends a prisoner in prison, whose name is Mike, Mike is a good man. Today Cameron and Mike will be sent together on a plane to Alabama, where they will both be released. Cameron learns here, that the flight on which he will be sent to Alabama, will also have the most dangerous prisoners on that flight, so that they can be kept in a special prison in Alabama. Next, we see US Marshal Vince, whose job is to take care of the dangerous prisoners, who are being sent from here. Before the flight takes off, DEA agent Duncan comes here to meet Vince. Duncan tells Vince, that I will send one of his officers as a prisoner on that plane, so that he can get information from a drug dealer. Vince says, that carrying a gun in the plane is not allowed, so that officer gives his gun to Vince. After this, we see the prisoners, who were being sent from the plane, all these prisoners were very dangerous. Among them there was a prisoner named Billy, who is known as mass murderer, there is also a serial rapist named Johnny 23, here is the black gorilla member Nathan Jones. And one of the biggest murderers, who is also called a professional killer is his name is Cyrus. After checking all the prisoners, they are put on the plane. We see Cameron is very happy, as he is about to meet his daughter and wife soon. While checking in, Duncan secretly gives a gun to his officer. Now the plane takes off, we see Cyrus hiding a pin in the skin of his hand, using which he opens his handcuff. On the other hand, a prisoner named Parker started pulling the thread from his mouth. A bag came out from inside, which contained a matchstick and a small bottle of kerosene. Upon receiving Cyrus' signal, Parker sprinkled kerosene on the man sitting next to him, and set him on fire with a matchstick. The fire here distracts the attention of all the securities, due to which Parker quickly steals the keys to the prisoner's cell. Taking the opportunity, he quickly opens all the gates. From the iron cage, a dangerous prisoner Nathan comes out, who starts killing the security guards present here, due to which many guards are killed here. Cyrus is also now out of his cell, so he quickly goes to the pilot's cabin, co-pilot tries to stop him, but Cyrus kills him and takes his gun, he comes straight to the cabin with a gun, and asks the pilot to report that everything is fine in this plane, otherwise he will shoot him. Only Cyrus had a gun in the whole plane, so he takes control of the whole plane. After this, all the guards are caught and locked in the place of the prisoners, Cyrus orders to open the handcuffs of all the prisoners here. Cyrus tells all the prisoners, that our plane will land at Carson Airport, where we will drop some prisoners down, and after that we will take this plane and leave for another country, so that the police can't catch us. But then the officer who came to this plane as a prisoner, takes his gun and makes a prisoner hostage. Officer asks to land the plane, but Cameron tries to convince him, and asks to down the gun. But officer does not listen to him, before the officer shoots anyone here, Cyrus shoots him, due to which the officer is killed. Seeing this, all the prisoners present here get scared. Parker says, at Carson Airport we have to take down six prisoners. Cameron's name is also in the list of those six prisoners. But Cameron lies here and says, my sentence is 15 years left, so I want to run away with you guys, and I don't want to land at the next airport. Hearing this, Cyrus also agrees to him, and says, out all the dead bodies from here, Cameron and Mike together out all the bodies from here. After this, their plane lands at Carson Airport, they bring down six prisoners here, and bring some new prisoners back to the plane, Cyrus knows these new prisoners well, including a gangster's son Sindino, a pilot Williams, and one of the most dangerous serial killers, Garland Green. Williams quickly enters the cockpit, and throws the plane's tracker out, so that the police can't track him. After this, his plane takes off again, all the prisoners were very happy, but Cameron looked a bit upset, because he wanted to, in some way or the other, tell the police about the things happening on the plane. Cameron comes to Cyrus, and asks where are we going, Cyrus tells that we are leaving this country, and going to a place, where we can live freely. While moving forward, their plane suddenly started going down, Cyrus asks Cameron to find out the thing, Actually, a guard's dead body got stuck in the landing gear, due to which his plane was going down, 
When Cameron sees this, he quickly writes some important information related to the prisoners on his t-shirt, and then throws that dead body down, that body falls straight down on a car, due to which many vehicles collide here. After reading all the information written on the t-shirt, the police tell all those things to US Marshal Vince. Vince is the same officer, whose job was to take care of those prisoners. When Vince learns everything, he quickly leaves for the place, where the prisoner's plane was about to land. On the other hand, we see that inside the plane, Billy gets the letter of Cameron's release. After reading the letter, he comes to know that Cameron is no longer a prisoner like him. Before Billy could tell this to anyone else, Cameron kills him to save himself. After some time, his plane was ready to land in another place, but Williams could not land the plane properly, due to which his plane crash landing. After getting off the plane, Nathan was going to kill three officers one by one, but Cameron stops him from doing so, and says that we should not kill these people so easily, because later on, it can be useful for us, if the police will catch us, then we will use these officers, actually, Cameron wanted to save the lives of those officers by doing this, Cyrus likes this idea of Cameron very much, so he does not allow those officers to be killed, all the prisoners present here, were trying to get the crash plane out of the pit, then Cameron cleverly enters a room, he was looking for a device here, so that he could contact the police, but then three goons come here and attack him, Cameron also fights with them, US Marshal Vince, who was already hiding at this place, also attacks those goons, both they kill all the goons here, Cameron could have run away if he wanted, but he wanted to save the lives of his friends on the plane, so he comes back to the plane, Cyrus sees, that the police are about to come to this place, so he gives each of the prisoners one weapon, and tells them to hold their positions. When the police comes to this place, then all the prisoners attack them together, there is a long fight between the police and the prisoners. Slowly, more officers started coming here, Cyrus understands, that he will not be able to win over the policemen, so he tells everyone to go back to the plane quickly, those people had taken the plane out of the pit, so they all sit in it and take the plane away, inside the plane, all the prisoners were having a lot of fun, and they were very happy, but Cyrus does not understand here, how the police came to know about their plan in advance. Cyrus understands here, that there must be someone among these prisoners, who told the police about their plan, Cyrus threatens everyone and says, that whoever told the police about their plan, should come out, or else he will shoot an officer. Seeing all this, Mike comes out and says, that I told the police about your plan, actually, Mike does all this to save Cameron, after listening to Mike, Cyrus immediately shoots him without thinking anything. That's when many policemen come here by helicopter, who start firing at the prisoners, here Cyrus's full attention is on the police. We see that Cameron is very angry with Mike's death, and he starts hits all the prisoners here one by one. Cameron quickly approaches Williams, and forces him to land the plane at the Las Vegas airport. But due to the plane's engine failure, he has to make an emergency landing inside the city, many officers were already present here, and as soon as the plane lands, they arrest all the prisoners present here one by one. Cameron sees that Cyrus, the mastermind of these prisoners, is not here. Actually, as soon as the plane lands, Cyrus along with his two companions climbs on a fire-bridged vehicle, and starts running away. But Cameron sees her, Cameron and Vince follow them with a bike, Cyrus attacks them with water pressure to stop them. But Cameron grabs the ladder of that vehicle, and his bike explodes after colliding with truck. In that blast, one of Cyrus's companions is killed, Cameron tries to climb up, but Cyrus wanted to knock him down. A fierce fight ensues between them, then there is an explosion in the truck, due to which Cyrus falls on the conveyor belt, of a construction company present there, a heavy machine present here, falls directly on Cyrus, due to which he dies on the spot. After this, Cameron meets his wife and daughter, for whom he was waiting for so long, Cameron is very happy to see his wife and daughter, his sentence was completed, so he is released, and all the prisoners who were left alive, are put back in prison. And with this the movie ends on this.